G'day. Uh, Brandopolis here. This might be something new that I'm hopefully going to carry through. Sorry if I'm looking aside, I'm used to having like chat or something over there. Um, this is going to be the start of a daily vlog dedicated to my weight loss efforts. I'm a fairly large lad. I was larger. Um, yeah, let's just be honest with you. I used to weigh 150 kilo. That was back at the... Mm, shit. Would have been... November 2019. Back then, I decided that enough was enough. Decided to go on to meal replacement shakes, exercise, the whole shebang. Tried losing a lot of it. Eventually, I got down to about 108 kilo in five months. Not bad. And then I got complacent. I did what a lot of people might do and go, oh yeah, this is good enough. I'm going to start implementing regular meals back into my routine without actually thinking about what I was putting into those meals. At the same time, I also decided that I was going to... <sighs> um, Sorry, I'm just a little nervous about this because this is kind of a important topic to me. I decided that I was going to stop exercising. Big mistake. I was upping the amount of food that I was putting into me without getting rid of it. Without, you know, getting rid of the energy that I was putting in. Some numbers go up. Other numbers go down. My weight just went back up. And then slowly over the course of, let's see, that was around May, April, May 2020. Quite a few things happened in 2020, didn't they? Um, personal life happened and COVID happened. Ooh, YouTube's going to hate me for that one. Um, so yeah, I just kind of stopped exercising, stopped caring, and yep, yeah, as you can tell. And then later on, towards the end of 2020, I tried losing it again, and that didn't stick around for long, did it? So now it's currently... December 2021, let's rewind back to last week. I decided to go back onto the meal replacement shakes. I knew that's what worked for me because it took away my choice of, or my freedom of choice. It stopped me having to think about what I was putting onto my plate, what I was putting down my throat. Don't take that out of context. Um, what I was putting into my body. So I picked up box of man shakes last time i tried last time i tried tony ferguson it was all right um eventually got bored of the same flavors over and over again who to thunk it so this time i'm trying the man shake so far it's worked wonders although that could also be a fair amount of water weight or you know water retention but basically since Friday morning last week, which was the, since Friday the 10th to Thursday the 16th, this is day seven, I've dropped five kilo, somewhere around there. Um, this morning I weighed... Sorry about this. I have exactly how much I weighed on my phone. 
because that's where I do all my tracking. I can happily show you screenshots at a later time to show you that I'm not bullshitting some of this. Um, this morning I weighed 129.7 kilograms. So down 5.3 kilo in a week, basically. And that's ecstatic to me. Like over this week, I've noticed my, not this shirt, this shirt is massively big for me and I wear it when I'm exercising. I just got back from a walk. Um, but yeah, flannelette shirts that I'd bought for myself a few months back are now loose on me. Fantastic. I'm hoping to, you know, get down to a point where I can drop an entire clothing size and then a couple. My ideal goal, way, 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 way down the track, is somewhere between 70 and 80 kilo. I realize that's a big ask. That's like 65 kilo that I would like to get rid of. I'd basically like to chop myself in half and say, here, don't need this anymore. So this is the start of that journey. I'm sure it's not going to be easy. I'm sure that there will be times when I will just fail. Well, no, not fail. My weight will go up or down or whatever. I don't care too much. Um, so long as, you know, overall, at the end of every week, weight down, down, down. If it goes up again, you know what? I'm not going to blame myself. I'm just going to go, okay. I'll just have to try walking a little harder or I'll realize that this is a plateau and still stick with it. I won't go off the shakes entirely. I'll still keep doing two per day. So my current meal plan. Breakfast, shake with Greek yogurt and, or sorry, low-fat Greek yogurt and chia seeds. Turns into a nice thick pudding type thing which is just delicious um lunch have a another shake just plain standard whatever cold water makes it a whole lot easier to swallow drink um afternoon snack i have some of the man bars um tomorrow i'll do some show and tell with some of this stuff i'm just getting this first video out um, and then for dinner, I'm doing mostly stir fries. Tonight I had a, um, stir fry veg with chicken thighs and a bit of Worcestershire sauce over it just to give it a little bit more flavor as opposed to just veg and chicken. Um, when I do my shopping, I'll probably mix things up, get a different batch of uh, meat, make sure that I've got a week's supply, makes it easier. Um, meal prep isn't my thing. Um, if I have food in the fridge, like whether it's leftovers or meals that I've planned for later on in the week, I have terrible self-control when it comes to it. I'll be the first to admit it. If I've got something in my fridge, it needs to be eaten. And no, I don't wonder why I'm at this point. Um, yeah, so this is the start of something new. This is the start of me getting my life back, kilo at a time. Um, so yeah, my current goal, my current short-term goal is now 125 kilo. If I can do it in a week, fantastic. If I can't, Meh, doesn't matter. Um, I am doing weekly, uh, you know, once a week. I'm having a treat dinner. I won't call it a cheat dinner because I'm not trying to cheat anything. It's just that I need to reward myself somehow for staying with it. Um, so that'll be on Saturday. I'll let you know then when it happens, what, how it went, you know. If I actually feel like it was a good decision or... If I regret it so heavily that I'm never going to do it again. 
Um, eventually I'll get something set up over on this side so then I actually have illumination on my face and not just reflected from the monitors and the fluoro up there. So yeah, I hope that you can join me on this journey. It's going to be long. But by the end, it, I hope it'll be rewarding. So yeah, this is Brandopolis signing out. Um, if you've got any questions for me, chuck them in the comments as usual. Oh. Chuck them in the comments. I'll either reply to them in the message or I'll bring them up in the next video. Um, eventually I'm going to do fancy stuff, you know, have a little bit of background music right now. I'm just, it's been a long day. So thank you. Till next time.